episode number 39. Can you believe it? 39 consecutive days of daily vlogging. It's insane. What's wrong with this guy? We got a powerful episode today, a beautiful church, commercial glue down carpet, heavily soiled. We haven't cleaned it in years. We've got the zipper, which is a fancy tool we're gonna use for the hot water extraction portion of the cleaning. And we do a lot of churches in our local area. The entire county only has 53,000 people, but there's 17,414 churches in the area. That's a joke, give or take, there's a lot. Um, the other cool thing about churches, as far as commercial cleaning is, they don't pay any taxes. So we're able to increase the price by 35% every time we do an estimate. Another joke, I'm just kidding. Please, if you're a church, do not sue me. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate your tuning in. Go ahead and mash that thumbs up. Leave a comment below of your favorite part. And don't forget, please, subscribe to the channel and ring that notification bell select all so you get notified every single day when we drop a new daily vlog all right cole turn it off you've seen the job you've seen the job how long do you think it's going to take us to clean this whole room what's your prediction I'll say like an hour, hour and a half. Hour to an hour and a half, all right. Pick one. The winner is gonna get um, something. Okay. It's between you and Sunny. An hour or an hour and a half? Or do you want to, you have to pick a specific time? Specific time? Yep. From right now till we're done. Hour. Hour, okay. Cole says an hour. All right, Sunny, turn it off. Huh? All right, Sunny says that Cole took her time. So I'm gonna say 55 minutes. 55 minutes. This is a huge room. Uh, it's a dark maroon carpet, heavily soiled. You're gonna have to watch till the end because the dump water, oh, you're not gonna wanna miss the dump water. So obviously we're doing the dry soil removal. I'm gonna set up the camera and we're gonna shoot that in fast motion. If you don't like the fast motion voiceover, this would be the time to stop watching. Okay, go watch somebody else's channel because it's what we do. So 1,440 square feet is this one room here. Um, we charged 23 cents a square foot. So I think that's 331.20, so $331.20. And if you hang on to the, to the end, you'll get to hear who was right, either Sonny or Cole. Um, but uh, yeah, it's, we made really good time. I don't think they anticipated me showing up with my vacuum cleaner, so... They had been vacuuming for a while. I showed up a little bit late to the party and I stole Angela's vacuum cleaner. This is the Shark Apex Duo, the one I'm using. It has a headlight on it. For commercial glue down, it actually works really, really well. And I love using it. So again, I took it from um, our house. And when people ask me oftentimes, you know, clients or friends will say, uh, Dan, what kind of vacuum cleaner should I get? And, or they watch us with the workhorse and they think, you know, ooh, I should get one of those. And while that is a good vacuum cleaner, I think that a, a Shark Apex Duo is an excellent choice for just a consumer-grade vacuum that probably costs a little bit less. It doesn't weigh quite as much. Of course, it doesn't have the power or the suction of a commercial vacuum cleaner. But for around our house, we don't use a commercial vacuum cleaner very often. Now, every now and then we will, but... I only vacuumed for probably 10 minutes, and then you can see here that we mixed up a very potent brew of preconditioner. Came in, and I'm using the inline sprayer to very generous, generously apply the soap-free detergent or preconditioner to the face yarn of this commercial glue-down carpet. It's like a dark maroon color. If you can see those tablecloths on the table to the left there, the carpet's basically just a couple shades lighter than that. but. Um, pretty, like I said, pretty big space, almost 1,500 square feet, and we did bring a, a tool. I don't know if you can barely see it. This is a bad angle. You're going to get a much better angle here in just a second. But we began to extract using this tool called a zipper, and it's a walk-behind extraction wand, which is a kind of a unique tool, but it's really, really perfect for areas like this, big, wide-open commercial spaces, especially with commercial glue-down carpet. I've got a lot of friends in the industry that use these for residential homes as well. So it's not limited to only 
commercial settings, but we like it for commercial settings. And again, you walk it up and walk it back, and you know it's a lot less work when than slinging a normal wand, um, because most of your strength, of course, for using this is going to be done in your legs instead of your upper body as well. So we made really, really good time. Today was Cole's first day ever getting to use the zipper, so. Um, I almost didn't let him because I was having so much fun with it. It's really a fun tool to use. And, you know, normally by this point, because I'm about a fourth of the way done already with extracting, normally by this point I would be pouring sweat. And with the zipper, you know, like I said, it, you're just walking it up and walking it back. So I did end up, you know, building up a sweat, but it took quite a while for me to do so. And it wasn't nearly as much energy expended as normal at this stage of the game. So I checked the tank after we got done and it looks like we went through about 30 gallons of water, between 25 and 35 gallons of water, including the preconditioners. Cause so we had a full tank when we started. So a pretty good bit of water we were able to put down and extract back up. The so Cole and Sonny had three or four additional jobs on top of this large commercial space that we did together. And then the other team, which is Thomas and Lyndon today, they had, I think, four or five as well. So everybody had a pretty good little bit of work to do today. But, of course, this was the big the big job for the day. And the zipper and the fact that all three of us kind of hit it together made for actually pretty quick work of this job. So, again, I don't want to wreck it and tell you guys exactly how long it took because at the end of this little video, uh, you're going to get to see the reveal on how long it took. But again, we made we made really, really good time. We allotted for two hours just because I always like to schedule, you know, a lot more time than I think we're going to need just in case we run across some kind of problem. So there Cole went ahead and grabbed a hold of the zipper. And you can see he's just walking it up and walking it back. He really enjoyed it. He thought it was fun. He, he did say that, you know, once he has a little bit more time to train, on the tool, he would probably see himself being more comfortable using it because, like I said, he's never used it before. So Sonny and I went ahead and moved those tables there. You can see um, just because this is a space that the church uses for entertaining. So a lot of times they have food in here, hence the large amount of soil that we were able to pull out. If you look closely, you can actually see the steam pouring out the side of that tool, the zipper, and off of the carpet as well. So we had really, really good temperature coming from the truck mount and we were using the butler today which is an excellent machine for high temp and they actually have one that gets even hotter than the one we have so which is crazy to think because there's often times where I go to disconnect the solution line from the tool and it's so hot you have to literally get like a towel or something to help help get it off of there but again, you know, we moved those little buffet tables or whatever those are and um, went ahead and did the zipper behind that space as well with the standard wand, it'd be a whole lot easier to get underneath those, and that's one of the downsides to the zipper is it, you really kind of have to move stuff in order to clear a large area in order to clean it. It just makes for a whole lot less struggle. And there, I don't know if you saw that, but just a second ago, the light went out on our light ring. So we normally film with a light ring that helps really get a lot better quality picture, and it's on a battery pack. And I've never had it go out before, but unfortunately yesterday I forgot to charge the batteries all the way. They were only at 40%. And of course I sped this up. So they would have been running for quite some time before they ran out. But they did run out on this job and I forgot to bring the plug. So we had kind of a poor lighting on this angle. Now in a second we're going to change the angle. I'm going to have Cole grab it. Here we go. And from the door you're going to see a much better angle. So this is us just finishing out the last row. Uh, the gentleman that let us in and paid us was very, very pleased. He was actually looking and watching pretty much the entire time, kind of keeping an eye on us, and he was very impressed with the whole process and the results. 45 minutes. Cole, Cole you hear that? I thought about that. 45. So 45 minutes, 1,440 square feet of commercial glue-down carpet. Not bad timing, I don't think. I don't know if that's above average, below average, but for us... That was a really good time. And you can see by this water, we pulled a lot of soil out of that carpet. Ugh, it was gross, but a lot better now. And now it's lunchtime for those that love this part. This is for Cole. Cole, I'm trying to lock eyes with you as I eat this broccoli. There's several people that are a little disturbed by my staring into the camera while I eat. 
But if it really bothers you that much, Cole, you can stop watching. He told me yesterday he couldn't even make it through the video because of the staring into the camera. But this is steamed broccoli. I lightly season it with some seasoning salt, and it is absolutely delicious. This is all I had for lunch other than a huge glass of water. I'm trying to significantly reduce my caloric in intake over the next... Um, five weeks. I've set a goal to lose 30 pounds in the next um, basically five weeks by March 15th. So it's a little bit of an extreme goal being that I'm at 201 pounds as of the other night. But that's, you know, I quit using nicotine and caffeine over this last year. And to be quite honest, I've obviously added a lot of food into that my, to compensate and I've accidentally gained about 30 pounds. So now I'm going to intentionally deliberately lose a lot of that by just eating really, really clean. And like I said, significantly reducing my caloric intake every day. Um, so good thing for me, I really like vegetables and pretty much just going to be doing a lot of that, a little bit of rice and beans and a little bit of fruit every day. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate your support. Mash that thumbs up, leave a comment below. And of course, as always, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and ring that notification bell so you get notified every single time we publish new content. Thank you.